Well, you know, this time of year, farm fields across Middle Tennessee aren't much to look at, but two farmers in Houston County have found a cash crop that nearly everyone in the county is talking about. Here's News Channel 5's Chris Conti. We like it quiet. Even on sunny days, there's not much to see in Erin, Tennessee. We've got close to 400 acres that we own here. There's nothing out here. Literally nothing. We've been here all of our life. And yet and, Jason uh, Clark and his brother, brother Joel, Joel have found right. something to stare at. We just like all odd and unusual things. A withdrawal of sorts that doesn't fit in. 6,000 pound brick and steel ATM that came from a bank in Franklin originally. No longer in need of a cash dispensing machine, that bank decided to sell it. And the Clarks decided to place it right here in this field off Highway 49. They don't know what it's doing here and can't figure it out. And uh, they just they just have to come up and get closer and look at it sometimes. So unusual, they've even managed to stump local authorities. There was a Houston County deputy came out here one night and lit up and sat there and went around it and looked at it. <laughs> they didn't steal it. It's not stole, if that's what it's you're asking. <laughs> Although this 10 foot tall ATM <laughs> has stolen plenty of people's attention. That truck's been out here four or five times this morning. You just don't see something like that every day out here in the country. It just appeared out of nowhere. I'll go over and peck on it. <laughs> Even their local pastor has taken notice. Who knows that the Lord would put an ATM down at the end of the road, so now we can say, turn it the ATM. Yeah. <laughs> He's serious. I was hoping there would be some money in it. <laughs> the Clarks are no strangers to odd objects. Fifteen years ago, they bought an 80-foot-tall fire watchtower the state didn't want. No money. No, no money. money. <laughs> but this... This is the kind of attention they are taking all the way to the bank. We may replace it with something else unusual on the next step. Chris Conti. Who knows? News Channel 5 HD. And the Clark brothers tell us they're considering talking to area banks to see if any of them would want to place a real ATM inside that structure.